Paul Cully last updated 1652, November 15, 2017 The All Blacks performed the Haka before the game against a strong France 15 in Lyon. Opinion The All Blacks win against France in Paris was unduly criticised and we should not repeat the mistake. The young All Blacks side which beat the French 2823 in Lyon on Wednesday and their time must be commended. They showed patches of class but more importantly they showed character. They effectively had to win the game twice. The last 15 minutes the otherwise excellent referee Luke Pierce ceded too much control to the big screen operator and home crowd who found a penalty in every All Blacks act. But they stemmed the tide and finished the game with a 22-year-old prop playing on his less familiar loose head side, and a 20-year-old hooker bulldozing a French scrum to secure the win. Who said you needed to lose to learn lessons? What these youthful All Blacks did was to learn to win under pressure, read more Hansen hits out a video replays World Rugby Must Wake Up. Abs hold off spirited French 15 recap All Blacks v France 15 player ratings who was Abs best? Abs win top 5 talking points a departing veteran must also be given recognition. One poor pass aside, Tawera Kerbalo was outstanding. He's probably the best defensive number 9 in the world. Moreover, his control at the base of the scrum was outstanding. There must be some heavy hearts in the All Blacks as he departs for a new life in France but who can begrudge him? Yet this game was about the future, not looking back. And the future was wearing the black number 13 jersey. Northland's Jack Goodhue was excellent. His late yellow card was either the result of poor luck or cynicism, only he will really know, but everything else he did hinted at a long stay in the All Blacks jersey. He has time, on either side of the ball. Wings who play with Goodhue must love him. In the second half he was shown a little gap on the inside and took it but he instinct is to feed those outside him. Goodhue is one for the purist. He took his chance with both hands. All Blacks centre Jack Goodhue takes the ball into contact against the French and Lion. Inside him Nani Lamarpi offered a bruising contrast. An intercept pass blotted his copybook but if you look at his contributions as a whole the positives outweigh the negative. On Patrick Tuipolo too, another for whom this was a crucial audition, it's possible to be in two minds. There are few better sights in New Zealand rugby than the big man getting his body position low, either in the tackler with a ball in hand, and just driving through opponents. Yet an early error in taking the kickoff is the sort of mistake that gets punished by better opposition. Yet the surprise of the evening were the scrums. Looking at that tight five beforehand I feared the French might eat them up and no doubt the home side were of the same opinion. From the first set piece they tried to shove the All Blacks into the stands and got a shock. The All Blacks were not budging. In fact, hooker Nathan Harris got a boot on the ball and raked it back to the black side. Jeffrey Tumaga Allen has never scrummaged better. He conceded one penalty in the second half but was otherwise rock solid. Then we come to those front row replacements. Atumoli has played most, if not all, of his Super Rugby at tight head. Asafo Almu has yet to even play Super Rugby. Yet there they were, driving a French scrum off the ball in the last act of the game with the All Blacks lead under peril. Job done, experience banked and reputations enhanced. The scorebooks will record a five-point win for the All Blacks, but they will take from it much more than that. Stuff.